This is question 10, paper 2, from the SQA specimen paper for National 5 Mathematics. We're given a cosine curve, various numbers on the axes, and we're asked to explain how we can tell from the graph basically what the formula of this cosine curve is. Now, to get a feeling for the situation, I think we should have a look first at an animation. So here we have the graph y equals cos x. Starting off with a value of 1, and by the time the angle reaches 90 degrees, the value of the cosine has gone down to 0. And then as the angle increases towards 180 degrees, the value has gone down to minus 1. And continuing increasing the angle to 270 the values have come back up from the negative up to the value of zero. And then as the angle increases towards 360 degrees, the values of cosine go from zero up to a maximum of one. So there is a maximum value, which is one, and there's a minimum value, which is negative 1. And the gap between these values is 2 units. The amplitude is a half that size. The amplitude is measured from a middle value. How far up and down does the thing waggle about the, the central x-axis? It goes up 1 unit and down 1 unit. Um, so the amplitude is one unit. So how does multiplying by a different number at the front, this is one lot of cos x, if we increase the number a at the front, look what happens. We're scaling the values along the y-axis. There's y equals 3 cos x, where we used to have a maximum value of 1 there. The maximum value is 3 times that. Where we used to have a, a value of a half, we've now got 3 times that. That's at 60 degrees. Where we used to have a value of 0, we've still got a value of 0. 3 times 0 is 0. But all values, here, here's the one where, where we have a, an angle of 180, used to have a minimum value of minus 1. 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. So every value of the cosine has been multiplied by 3. In this case, every value of the original cosine has been multiplied by 4. We've now got a maximum of 4, and a minimum of minus 4. And between these two, uh, there's maximum 4 and minimum minus 4. And between these two, we have a distance of 8 units. But the amplitude of this cosine graph is 4. So the amplitude is 4. So basically this number A that we have here, in this case A is 4, um, this number tells us the amplitude of the graph. Let's just move it back down. There's an amplitude of 2, the original graph amplitude of 1. There's an amplitude of 1 half. That's y equals a half cos x. So the number at the front tells us the amplitude. And if we're adding a number at the end, there's adding 1. All the original values of the cosine have now had 1 added to them. So the whole graph is now moving up 1. Where we had an original value of 1, it's now 2. Where we originally had a value of uh, 0, we've now got a value of 1. And where we had a value of minus 1 originally, it's now moved up by 1 unit. So adding 1 moves the whole of 
the original values up by one unit. Let's see that again. There's the original cosine graph. Everything's moved up one unit, two units, three units. But you notice in all cases, the amplitude of this graph is still one. The difference between the maximum, let's stop here and have a look at this. The maximum value of this graph is 3 and the minimum value is 1. And the gap between maximum and minimum is still 2 units. So the amplitude is 1 unit. That's half of the gap between maximum and minimum. So now that we know this, and we've seen the, the scaling along the y-axis with the number at the front changing and the lifting up and down parallel to the y-axis, which is adding or subtracting a number at the end. So in this case, let's do one more. In this case, maximum 3 minimum minus 1, gap between maximum and minimum, 4 units, amplitude 2. The mean value line has been moved up from the x-axis up 1. So in this case, we know the amplitude is 2, so y equals 2 cos x, and plus 1 at the end, since the whole graph has moved up from the x-axis mean line up to y equals 1 as the mean line that it waggles about above and below same distance. So I hope that helps in the solution to this question. So let's go back to the question now. So in the case that we are given here, we have a maximum of 2. We have a minimum of minus 4. The gap between maximum and minimum is 6 units. Half of that will give us the amplitude. 3 units. So A equals 3. So explain how you can tell from the graph that A equals 3. Um, the amplitude is the value of A. And that equals a half maximum value minus minimum value. Just to complete the calculation, that's a half of 2 minus minus 4. It's a half of 6, which is 3. Now, the other uh, thing to note is that halfway, midpoint between... Negative 4 and 2 is negative 1. So B is equal to negative 1. Another way of putting that is the graph Y equals 3 cos X is moved down one unit parallel to the x axis to the y axis so there's the the line y equals negative 1 so our value of b is negative 1 because of that shift downward one unit